Hi, Ray and I are out forging today. We're getting Queen Anne's lace and look how beautiful. You want to get the purple black bellac looking center in these um, because there are some that are poisonous and there's quite a history behind this. I will be making jelly so look in the description box below and you'll see the recipe and uh, make sure you read the history on this because it's quite interesting. Okay, we're going to make some Queen Anne lace jelly. And Ray and I went forging today and we got some beautiful heads. I'm also going to put some history down on the Queen Anne's lace. It's quite interesting. And um, the recipe I'm using calls for two cups of Queen Anne lace flour and four cups of water. You want to bring the water to a boil, then you want to remove it from the heat and let it cool five minutes and add the flour heads and push them down into the water until fully covered. Cover and steep for one half hour, then strain. So I'll bring you back. Okay, my friends. It's boiling now. I'm going to take it off the stove and add two cups of the Queen Anne lace in. Okay, the water has boiled for a hard boil and it has set for five minutes. I have two cups of the Queen Anne lace flour right here. This is going to go in just like this. And I'm going to push it down. Sorry. I'm doing this with one hand here. We're going to push this all down. And we're going to let it steep for 30 minutes. And then we're going to strain it out. So I'll bring you back. Time to refill your teacup. Just pushing it all down in, just like it says. Okay, it's been sitting for half an hour and we're going to strain it now. I've got a very fine strainer here, just like this. Nice. Whoa, good thing I caught it. Okay, and we'll strain it a couple of times. I like the strainer a lot. Okay, what I'm going to do is these have already been used, so I'm just going to wring it out a little like this. And like this. Put those off to the side. And finish straining. Just so you can see. See, the strainer works really well. Okay, I'm going to wipe my hands here. And I'm going to strain it again. I'm going to put it in. Put it in here. And I'm going to grab another bowl just to help me out a little. Just like this. Okay. And we're straining it again. Good. Looks wonderful. And again. Just like that. I don't know if everybody can see it okay. Just like that. Okay, and I'll bring you back. Hey folks, I just um, put in the one quarter cup of lemon juice, and now we're gonna put in the pectin. I use the real fruit classic pectin because it can go in my jelly maker or doing it the old fashioned way. And for one box, it says right on the box, equals six tablespoons right there 
So I'm going to put six tablespoons in. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then what we're going to do, we're going to stir it constantly until it comes to a rolling boil. And then when it comes to a rolling boil, we're going to add the sugar, stir constantly. And you want to cook and stir until the mixture becomes to a rolling boil. And then you want to keep boiling it till it sheathes off the spoon or gets to 200 and about 218 to 220. That's when your jelly stage is ready. So I'm going to stop this and put it on the stove and then I'll bring you over once it starts boiling. Okay, folks, you can see it's coming to a boil. It's boiling rapidly right now. And you have to let that go for one minute. And it's been just about one minute here. Just a few more here, and it will be a minute. And then we're going to add the sugar. And then we're going to steer the sugar in, and then we're going to let it boil again. And when you're making jelly, like I said, you want to get it to about 118 to 120, where it sheathes right off the spoon, and I will show you what I mean by that. It will just kind of droplet off the spoon. Okay, so it's time to put the sugar in. And I'm pouring it in right here. And everything will be in the description box below. There you have it. Right there. Mmm, look at that. It smells good too. It's gonna, looks like it's gonna have a very, very pretty color. Dissolve this in. And once I get it close to the 218, the jelly stage, I will bring you back and I'll just keep stirring it. And when it gets, like I said, to that stage, I'll bring you back. Okay, folks, it's ready. And this is you, this is what I'm using right now. The infrared thermometer it uses uh, two AAA batteries. You can use a candy thermometer, but I'm beaming it right now. You can see the red light. And it is at 218. And I wanna show you what I'm talking about when it's ready. If you watch the spoon here, it's like cough syrup. See how it just comes down and just dribbles like off the spoon? Whoops, sorry, had it too high. See right there? When it drips like that, when you got a spoonful and it comes down, see how it's, see how this is right here? That's nice, that's perfect. And it smells really good. So it's time to skim it and jar it. And I'll there, bring I don't think over. I had the camera running. I'm terribly sorry. We had this here. It's all done. And I used a skimmer, which is right here. I usually use my grandmother's, but I misplaced it today. And this is what I took off. This is the foam. You can also put butter in there, but I choose not to. And I was just explaining with the jars, you want to make sure there's no nicks or cracks in your jars. And they say fill it at a quarter head space for Queen Anne's Lace jelly would be right here. I usually fill mine in between right here. And I just get done filling a jar right here. Let me push this back so you can see, sorry. Don't have a whole lot of counter space. And right here is a chopstick that I use to go like this to make sure there is no bubbles in the jar at all. Just like that. I have hot water right here. And you're gonna put your lids in there. And I'm gonna start with three lids in the hot water. Just like that. Now, I, I made sure my cloth was nice and warm. You wanna make sure you go all around here, just like this. You don't wanna get anything. You want it 
You want that lid to stick really well. I use this little wand right here. It's got a magnetic on the end. Take a lid right here. Put it on my jar. Just like that. You want a finger tight with the cover. Just like that. And you want to put it in a, a canner, hot water bath canner for 10 minutes. These are jelly jars. Uh, I might have one that's got the ounces. No, I don't. It's eight ounces on the jelly jar. But um, let's do one more, just like this. We're gonna fill it. And this has a beautiful golden color. It's really, really pretty. And it came out absolutely great. You can see how it congealed. Look at that. That is wonderful. Just like that. Then you want to take the chopstick. Just like this. Stick it in your jar. Make sure you got all the bubbles out. Then once you got all the bubbles out, there was nothing right there. You want to go around it with a warm cloth. And like I said, some folks use vinegar. Uh, my preference is nice hot water, just like this. You want to make sure there's no cracks, no nicks in the jar, just like that. Then you want to take a lid out of the hot water. Then you want to put it on. Then you want to just finger tight a cover on just like this. So I will bring you back. I'm gonna put it in a hot water bath. When it's all done, I'll show you how it came out. Okay, I just took these out of the canner right now and um, it gave me three eight ounces in one four ounce jar. I have more blossoms, flower blossoms, and I will be making more. You can wash your blossoms, put it in a Ziploc bag, and they should stay pretty good for about four days. And um, just in case you wanna pick a lot, which we did, we forged for a lot. So this is Queen Anne's Lace Jelly Recipe, and I water bath them for five minutes. So I will put everything in the description box below, and I'll also talk a little bit about Queen Anne's Lace. When you're picking it, you've got to be very careful that you get the correct flower. You need the flower top that's got the little black purple center. If not, it is like a carrot. And you pull it and there'll be a carrot root and it will smell like a carrot. And I will show you at a further time about that. So if you like this video, please give me thumbs up. And we have a special announcement we're going to be making in a couple of days here on the channel. And if you haven't subbed, please do so. And all the subscribers that I have, thank you for following me. And um, this stuff looks really good. That's all I can say. I'll just show you up close. I mean, it is so yummy looking. And it's a beautiful color. Look at that. So you can find me on Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. And like I always say, you never know what's going to be on my videos. God bless.